What's up, fan collectors? What we have here today is a 52-inch Casablanca Zephyr. It is in Teletouch, and it is dated uh, May 16th, 1985. And let's see, it is the um, 552nd one made that day. Um, I think I just men mentioned that the finish was antique brass. Um... And yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Here's a top view of it. And you can see I it came with an IntelliTouch control. I got it on the past Fanimation group trip from fan collector Jeffrey Doctor. Um, it came in very good shape. The blades are a little bent, however. I tried to bend them back a little bit, and it worked some, but like not really. Um, this is a fan I've considered installing in my room, replacing the Sears T.O. The, um, the Sears turn of the century. Um, but I might get new blade arms for it if I were to do that, because these are kind of bent. Alright, anyways, here we go. So power... This is my first video of an IntelliTouch um, fan on the rig. You can see I even got a new switch plate here. Um, this is probably how it's going to be from now on. This will just be the... I'll just use the switch right here for regular fans, and this will be for IntelliTouch fans. Because I'll probably be testing a lot of IntelliTouch fans. So I'd have to say speed three is, if I had to um, give a favorite speed for IntelliTouch fans, I'd probably say it's speed three. I kind of like the nice, um, how it's like kind of between low and medium like that. Um, speed one is also very nice. It's a very aesthetic low speed, like really slow. Um, speed two is probably considered a regular low speed. This is probably speed four is considered a regular medium speed. And here's speed five, and even this speed kind of looks like high, honestly. And you'd think this is the fastest it could go, but it's actually not. Um, that's how powerful these are and fast these are. Bearings are great on this. Jeff actually um, swapped the motor. I think he put uh, another Casablanca motor into it because the original bearings were really bad, and he kind of fixed it up before he sold it, so that's pretty nice. All right, here's speed six. This thing is a windstorm on speed six. Now you can see it wobbles a little bit because of the bent blades.
So this is the third Zephyr in my collection. Um, I basically have three Zephyrs, but they're all very different varieties. Um, I have a white and, um, I've made videos of the other two. Um, there's the white and brass one down there. I made a bit of, bit of that one back in 2016. That one apparently was slumber quiet, but someone changed it to regular three speed. Considering the speed sequence is just a high, medium, low, someone put a pole chain in it and change out the slumber quiet. Um, and then there's a brown and brass one over there that has, um, um, pointed tip blades instead of the one down there. Um, that one is still, that one is also slumber quiet and still is. That one still has a slumber quiet in it, however it is bypassed. Alright, so before I go, one other thing to show you guys. Um, on this past group trip, I actually got a couple IntelliTouch controls. I have one, another one right here, as you can see. And here's the switch that was previously on the rig in place of the IntelliTouch control. I rewired it. Here's the old switch plate. Um, but... Um, now the in that other IntelliTouch control came with the came with this really beat up Zep, um not Zephyr, um Spirit of Saturn the Saturn that I got on the group trip it was it's really beat up um and it also came with this IntelliTouch control now I have this here as a spare in case if I ever decide to install um an IntelliTouch fan like this one. In my room, you can see here's a spare switch plate. I have this one is white, so I, I like white is better for the room, my room, or any room actually. This more goes, the silver more goes with the rig. Alright, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, sorry, one other thing I forgot to mention um, is demo mode. Um, demo mode is not working. I'm not sure why. Um, fan, light, fan, light, fan. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So, I'm not sure what to say about that. If I wired it, I'm pretty sure I wired it correctly. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. So if any of you guys know if there's something I'm doing wrong or um, what that could possibly be, um, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks.